everybody, it's Ruby and who's ready for a theatery video? Today I'm going to be showing you guys all of the new plays slash acting books that I have purchased recently. I made one of these videos quite a few months ago and it honestly got a pretty positive response from you guys so I thought when I got some new plays and acting books, why not do another one? <coughs> oh no, I have a cough. You ever have like weeks that go by where you feel like you're losing your voice because me, but it's been like two weeks so I'm gonna film a video anyways. If you all don't know, I currently live in New York part time but I am moving there full time this coming May to go to school for theater and musical theater and I want to be an actress and a musical theater performer when I'm older so theater is a huge part of my life and so I try and incorporate it on my channel as much as possible but without boring you guys. But recently I purchased about 12 new books in total so I thought I would make a video on them today and let's just jump right into it. So I got all of these plays and acting books from two different places, the first of which being Amazon and then the second of which being kind of a second-hand bookstore because let's be honest, plays can get pretty expensive and when you purchase them as frequently as I do, they can get a little pricey so why not buy them at a second-hand store? And then whatever I couldn't find there I also purchased on Amazon. Also if you're a theater geek like me, please let me know in the comments down below and we can all just group together and like be another family in Inside the Ruby Rocks World family, it'll be great. Alright, so the first play that I purchased is Equus. This is absolutely an amazing play for my theater goers out there. If you have not read this play, you absolutely should. It's so incredibly deep. I read it like three times and I decided to finally purchase a copy of my own. I absolutely love reading plays like multiple times and kind of like analyzing the text and so this is one of those plays that I've read and every single time I read it, I'm like, what? I've also told like four of my friends to read this recently because I'm like, I need somebody else to talk to about this. So if you guys have read this play, please let me know and we can have a discussion. I sound like such a book nerd. Let's have a discussion. Another collection of plays that I've already read but I wanted a copy for myself. This is Steve Martin's collection of plays. All of these plays are absolutely fantastic. There are some great monologues in here for my little theater people out there. Um, some of which I'm actually using for some college auditions coming up. The first play in here in particular is absolutely hilarious though, so I highly encourage you guys to pick up a copy of this and read it on your own. This book in particular I've had for a little bit, but this is another acting textbook. This is Uta Hagen's Respect for Acting. I actually had to read this over the summer for my pre-college program, and then I'm actually reading this currently in my advanced acting class at my performing arts high school. I love this textbook though. It's absolutely brilliant. I love Uta Hagen. I love studying all like the great acting teachers and their methods. So this is a great book if you all haven't read it and you are looking to go into theater, I highly recommend it. I have a ton of monologue books where like I have a ton of monologues and published plays inside of them, but I was going through my collection and I realized I really didn't have a good collection of classical monologues, and so I actually found this. This is the Actors Book of Classical Monologues, more than 150 selections, which is absolutely fantastic. This collection includes monologues from the Golden Age of Greek drama, Shakespeare era, Restoration, and the 18th century, so I'm really excited to have this. I absolutely love it. We have one of my favorite plays here up next, and this is Cyrano de Bergia, one of the most classic, classic plays ever. It's a beautiful story. I love this story. My dad actually introduced me to this play, and I love it. And there's also a movie adaption that's great. It's in black and white. It's amazing. I just love it. Plus, this book in particular was only 25 cents, which was, like, amazing. I say this book, but I mean this play. Again, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite plays. This is Tennessee Williams, The Glass Menagerie. This is a stunning show. I actually really want to be in this show one day. I want to play Laura so badly. All my friends are like, Ruby, you can't play her. Laura's so meek and you're so headstrong. And I'm like, it's called acting. I can do it. Plus, it's coming back to Broadway and you can bet your butt that I will be getting a ticket to that show. My little theater heart is so incredibly happy right now. Like, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So, so, so excited. But it is coming back to Broadway and it's with an all-star cast. I'm just so incredibly excited. I'm such a theater nerd. Oh my gosh. I have two plays that I recently purchased by Arthur Miller, the first of which is The Crucible. I love this show. Again, it was recently on Broadway. I just think it's brilliant. I don't have my own copy and I really want to like expand my play selection that I have here. I mean, I already have a pretty big play selection like over there. There's at least like 30 or 40 plays, but you know, let's just make the obsession even bigger. It's fine. And secondly, I have Arthur Miller's A View from the Bridge. I love, love, love I love this play. I actually used to have a copy of it and I gave it to my friend Jessica and she never gave it back. So Jessica, if you're watching this, it's okay. Keep my play because I got another one. I love 
love Arthur Miller's work, so I just think that they are amazing pieces of theater, and I just cannot wait to read this over and over again. Like, I love rereading plays. You guys have no idea. Okay, so those are all the books slash plays that I purchased from, like, the secondhand store, but now I'm gonna move on to the plays that I recently purchased from Amazon. The first play that I purchased is Circle Mirror Transformation by Annie Baker. Um, my friend recommended this to me in my pre-college program and he actually did a monologue from the show and I was like, that's a brilliant monologue, where did you find that? And so I've been wanting to read this play ever since this past summer, so I'm so excited that I finally picked this up. I'm gonna start reading this tonight, actually. Up next, I have August Osage County. Um, you guys have probably heard of the movie if you haven't heard of the play. The movie's brilliant, the show is brilliant, it's very dark and very like edgy but I love it and there are some great scenes in this and I've read it a ton but I want to read it again and have it in my collection. This next play actually has two plays in it so it's kind of like a two for one deal but both of these shows are hilarious. I love them. This is The Santa Land Diaries and Season's Greetings. The Santa Land Diaries is actually a one man show and then Season's Greetings is actually just made for one woman which I think is really cool. So this play or both of these plays are chock full of of monologues and just hilarious little like scenes in it they're just it's just so funny and like it's a Christmas play and Christmas is coming up and I love Christmas so yay up next we have Jeffrey by Paul Rudnick again I was recommended to read this during my pre-college program it seems like a really interesting play definitely a little darker but I'm all about my dramatic plays so I'm really 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 excited to read this so Jeffrey is super dramatic but this next play is completely hilarious this is private lives an intimate play I love 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 the show I think it's so funny you guys seriously need to read it play is super funny it follows the lives of two people Elliot and Amanda who were once married and then they got separated and now they're on their honeymoons with their new spouses but they're actually staying at the same place so it's hilarious I love this play just go check it out this next book actually has two plays in it as well this is the normal heart and the destiny of me in my opinion both of these plays, but specifically The Normal Heart, is one of the most brilliant, life-changing plays that I have ever read. There's actually a movie adaption of this play starring Mark Ruffalo and Matt Bomer, and I will say it's definitely meant for mature audiences. To my younger subscribers, please do not watch this movie, um, or at least get your parents' permission before doing so, but I would definitely say it's meant for an older and a very mature audience. Both of these plays are absolutely brilliant, and they're two of those plays that the dialogue is written so authentically that you don't feel like you're reading a play, you feel like you're talking to these characters, and they're just amazing. And finally, the last play that I purchased is Angels in America which is one of like the most popular plays ever. Um, most people have heard of this. This play is amazing. Again, it is life-changing. I highly recommend that you read it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But with that completes my fabulous finds for the recent plays slash acting books that I purchased recently. I really hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up to let me know that you would like to see more from me. Please subscribe and help me get to 3,000. It would mean the world to me. Follow me on all my social media networks. Links are always in the down bar below. I hope that you guys are having an awesome day, night, afternoon, whenever you all are watching this. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Okay, bye guys.